Assalamu alaikum students welcome back to physiologics youtube channel as discussed before we are st we have started a physiotherapy mcq series and the first uh, subject we are addressing is kinesiology in the previous video we discussed first 25 mcqs if you have not watched this video i am providing the link here you can just simply go to the video and watch the first 25 mcqs in this video we will be discussing the next 25 mcqs related to kinesiology so the mcq number 26 is the force supplied by the muscles in a movement comes under the category of option a internal force option b external force option c assistive force and option d none of the above and the correct option here is internal force basically there are two types of forces one is external force one is internal force the external force is supplied by a source outside of the body as the force of gravity or the pressure of the physiotherapist's body or the physiotherapist's hands or any other material whereas the internal force is applied by the forces developed within the body and that is always muscular so the correct option here is option a internal force mcu number 27 a movement that is produced by the application of an external force with zero effort of muscles is called active movement effortless movement passive movement or none of the above and the correct option here is passive movement as discussed before there are two types of movement two types of forces external force and internal force there are also two types of movement one is active movement that results from the internal force that is by the help of muscles and the other is passive movement that help that occurs with the help of an external force as discussed before the correct option here is option c passive movement mcq number 28 a type of muscular work in which no movement takes place at the joint is called option a concentric muscle work option b eccentric muscle work option c eccentric muscle work and option d none of these and the correct option is none of these there are three types of muscle contraction. One is concentric muscle contraction in which there is shortening of muscle. One is eccentric or eccentric muscle contraction in which there is lengthening of muscle. And the third one is isometric muscle contraction in which the muscle length does not change and there is no movement. So the isometric muscle contraction option is not provided. So the option D will be correct that none of these. MCQ number 29, it is a scenario based MCQ. A patient presented to physiotherapy OPD and you prescribe him an exercise that requires him to hold a dumbbell stationary against the effect of gravity. Which of the following type of muscular contraction describes this exercise? Focus on two things that this is an exercise in which he is holding a dumbbell stationary against the effect of gravity and no movement is taking place. Option A is concentric muscle contraction, option B isotonic muscle contraction, option C isometric muscle contraction and option D eccentric muscle contraction. And the correct option is isometric muscle contraction as discussed in the previous MCQ. MCQ number 30, a muscle contraction in which there is shortening of the muscle is called option A concentric muscle contraction, option B, eccentric muscle contraction, option C, isometric muscle contraction, and option D, none of these. And the correct option is option A, concentric muscle contraction. MCQ number 31, if there is an increase in intramuscular tension without any change in the muscle length, the work done is said to be. Option A, concentric muscle work, option B, eccentric muscle work, option C, static muscle work, and option D, none of the above. And the correct option is static muscle work, just like the type of muscle contractions. The muscle work has three types. One is concentric muscle work, in which there is shortening of muscle. One is eccentric muscle work, in which there is lengthening of muscle. And one is static or isometric muscle work, in which there is increase the intramuscular tension but no movement occurs at the joint or there is no change in the muscle length. MCQ number 32 which of the following best describes the excursion of a muscle? Option A the maximum amount of lengthening a muscle is capable of is called excursion of muscle. Option B the maximum amount of shortening a muscle is capable of is called excursion of muscle. 
Option C, both A and B, and option D, none of the above. And the correct option is option C, both A and B. So the amount, the maximum amount a muscle can go in lengthening as well as in shortening is known as muscle excursion. MCQ number 33, the part of range in which the muscle is present in its shortest position is called inner range, outer range, middle range or short range. And the correct option here is inner range, this range here, the bicep is present in its shortest position. This is the inner range for the biceps. This is the middle range for the biceps and this is the outer range for the biceps. But if we say we are talking about tricep muscle so in case of tricep this would be the inner range because tricep would be maximum shortened position in this range this would be the middle range and this would be the outer range for the tricep muscle so it varies from muscle to muscle which muscle are you talking about so if it is biceps the ranges are different if it is triceps the ranges are different mcv number 32 the muscles ability to generate tension is called power work load or strength and the correct option is strength the muscles ability to generate tension is called muscles strength mcq number 33 the muscles that work together with the agonist to provide a suitable background for the desired activity and to stabilize the bones of origin of the agonist or Option A, synergist. Option B, fixators. Option C, antagonist. And option D, both A and B. And the correct option is option D, both A and B. The first three lines from this point to this point describes a definition of synergist. And this definition, the muscles that work to stabilize the bones of origin of agonist, this is the definition of fixators. So the correct option is both synergies and fixators. If the statement is limited to this point, then the correct option would be synergies. If the statement starts from this point to this point, the option would be fixators. But both of these combined, the correct option is both A and B. MCU number 34, the posture is the attitude assumed by the body with sport during muscular inactivity. Option B, the attitude assumed by the body by means of a coordinated action of many muscles. Option C, both A and B, and option D, none of the above. And the correct option is option C, both A and B. The body is always in a posture, either its muscles are working or its muscles are not working. So basically, there are two types of posture. One is active posture that is defined by the option b and one is inactive posture that is defined by the option a so posture is the option c is a correct option mcq number 35 what is a reflex option a an efferent response to an efferent stimulus option b an efferent response to an efferent stimulus option c an efferent response to an efferent stimulus and option d an efferent response to an efferent stimulus and the correct option here is an efferent response to an efferent stimulus. To attempt this MCQ, you first need to understand the difference between an efferent stimulus and a difference between a definition of efferent response. An efferent, remember the A for efferent and A for arrival. Anything that moves towards the body, towards the CNS is efferent. And anything that moves towards the CNS away from the CNS towards the periphery of the body is efferent, A for arrival and E for exit. So in reflex, as you see, you can see in this example, that there is stimulus, the hot object, he has touched the hot object, the stimulus will travel via the efferent signals. It will travel to the spinal cord and the spinal cord will direct the muscles to contract so he can move his hand backward. So this response that travels to away from the CNS towards the muscle is efferent. So the exam, the correct option is efferent response, this one, to an efferent stimulus, this one. MCQ number 36, which of the following play vital role in postural reflexes? 
option a eyes and ears option b muscles and spindle option c skin sensation and option d all of these and the correct option here is option d all of these eyes ears muscles and joints and skin all of them play a vital role in postural reflexes mcq number 37 the posture is said to be good when option a it fulfills the purpose for which it was not maintained option b it is achieved with maximum efficiency and minimum effort option c both a and b and option d none of the above and the correct option here is option c both a and b here do you agree with the correct option the option c we have missed a word not that it fulfills a purpose for which it was not maintained if we exclude the word not then the option c will be correct but if we include the option if, if we include the word not the option b will be correct the option a will be wrong mcq number 38 all of the following contributes to the development of good posture except option a a stable psychological background option b faulty idea of good posture option c good hygienic condition and option d none of the above and the correct option here is option b faulty idea of good postures both options a and b they will contribute to the development of good posture but if the patient or the person has a faulty idea of good posture if he thinks that if he moves his shoulders excessively forward it would be a good posture and he has a faulty idea of a good posture this will not contribute to the development of a good posture so the option b is correct mcq number 39 during postural re-education the maintenance of normal mobility is essential and the emphasis is laid on full dash s this is the movement which is most liable to limitation except in lumbar spine and shoulder joints and the correct option out of flexion extension abduction and adduction is extension so the main focus or main emphasis is laid on extension during posture re-education mcq number 40 which of the following options can be used for the presentation of a good posture to the patient option a mirror option b posture recorder option c photographs and option d all of these and the correct option is all of these mirror as well as posture recorder and photographs all of them all of them can be used for the presentation of a good posture to the patient that he needs to adopt a posture similar to this picture mcu number 41 a dash thrust of the vertex in the erection position may be sufficient to achieve satisfactory alignment of the whole body provided no unnecessary tension is allowed to develop elsewhere the option a is sideways option b downward option c upward option d neutral and the correct option is here is option c upward upward, uh, upward thrust of the vertex is the erection position may be sufficient mcq number 42 which of the following fibers are known as red fibers option a slow twitch muscle fibers option b fast twitch muscle fibers option c myofibers and option d one of these and the correct option here is alpha option a slow twitch muscle fibers they are also called red fibers because of high myoglobin content within them mcq number 43 which of the following fibers contract slowly and can sustain their contraction for longer periods of time option a red muscle fibers option b white muscle fibers option c blue muscle fibers and option d all of these and the correct option is red muscle fibers as discussed before they are the slow twitch muscle fibers they can sustain their contraction for longer periods of time and they contract slowly that's why they are known as slow twitch muscle fibers mcq number 44 the fibers that have high myoglobin content and fatigue slowly are fast twitch fibers slow twitch fibers medium twitch fibers or long-term fibers and the correct option here is option b that is slow twitch muscle fibers they are red fibers having high myoglobin content 
fatigue slowly so they are called slow twitch muscle fiber so option b is correct mcq number 45 which of the following muscle fibers are best suited for endurance activities option a red muscle fibers option b white muscle fibers option c slow twitch muscle fibers and option d both b and c and the correct option here is option d both b and c because as discussed before white muscle fibers are the same muscle fiber which are called slow twitch muscle fibers so the option d is correct that they are white muscle fibers or slow twitch muscle fibers are best suited for endurance activities mcq number 46 the capability of a muscle to sustain contraction for a longer period of time and resist fatigue comes under the category of option a power option b strength option c endurance and option d speed and the correct option here is option c endurance if a muscle is capable of sustaining contraction for a longer period of time and can resist fatigue we said the muscle as high endurance MCQ number 47, if a muscle is capable of lifting 10 kg load in 3 seconds, this characteristic is best described by which of the following terminology? Option A, strength, option B, power, option C, endurance, and option D, stamina. And the correct option here is option B, power. If we just focus on the load that he is capable to lift, then it would be called strength. But if we include the time, in which he is able to lift the load then this comes under the category of power so 10 kg in 3 seconds it's we are talking about the weight as well as the time so it is the definition of power mcu number 48 if you have prescribed a patient an exercise that has high number of repetitions and low amount of weight you are working on patients which of the following Option A, strength. Option B, power. Option C, endurance. Option D, speed. So focus on two points. The exercise is high number of repetitions and low amount of weight. The correct option is endurance. When you have prescribed a patient an exercise that has high number of repetitions but low amount of weight, you are basically targeting the endurance of the muscle. MCQ number 45, 49. If you have prescribed a patient an exercise that has low number of repetitions and high amount of weight, you are working on a patient. So in this scenario, the case is reversed, the number of repetitions is low and the amount is high. So it either to strength, power, endurance or speed, the correct option here is option A, strength. If you have low number of repetitions and high amount of weight, the main focus is on increasing the weight. So the characteristic you are working on patients is muscle strength. MCQ number 50, the pain is a dash experience. Option A, objective. Option B, subjective. Option C, descriptive. And option D, numerical. And the correct option here is option B, subjective experience. These were the 50 MCQs. The next MCQs will be discussed. In the upcoming videos, where we'll be covering the other topics and other subjects.